what's going on everybody let's go ahead and get started today i am sculpting something close to this i'm just using this as a reference it's not exactly what i'm going to do but this is a commission for somebody who is making a board game so this is what we're going to work on all right so i'm going to start with the hood of this and I'll just take the clay tool with the subtract button and we're just going to start taking away some material to get this. I'll just take that. It's going to be a little too much. Let's go ahead and try again. Welcome in everybody. Let me get uh, chat loaded back up because I cannot see it. Welcome in, guys. Alright, so let's just take away some material in here. This will be the hood. I'm going to add material. Let's use the drag tool. We're just going to kind of drag down the bottom here and drag this up here in the center. Kind of pinch it like this. use the drag tool some more and we're just going to drag out the body of this and the shoulders I'm going to voxel remesh this so I can keep dragging the inflate tool so we can add a little bit of volume to all of this. We're just going to go about this the easy way. I'm just going to kind of inflate everything. Use this drag tool. Just a lot of dragging everything honestly. Welcome in everybody. So real quick, I'm going to go into the scene menu, click add. We're going to add in a cylinder. This is going to help me understand where the base of the floor is. So I can judge everything to that as far as proportions go. I'm gonna turn off symmetry now and let's take the drag tool i'm probably going to put this lantern in the right hand i think so for the tube tool let's go ahead and get a long arm in there i have a couple other references i want to see this is a card for his game the person commissioning this. Welcome in, everybody. All right. All right, so for this arm, we're just going to get this over here. Long, skinny arm. We'll put an elbow right here. Maybe something like that. Let's mirror it to the other side. And I am going to go and validate that mirror. I'll take this side over here and we're gonna point this up so that he's like pointing his finger. We'll have to edit all that soon. But we'll get to that. I want the shoulders not to be so far out, I don't think. So 
we'll turn symmetry back on. We'll just kind of squish these in. And we're gonna we're gonna make the head bigger. Take that move tool. We're just gonna kind of push all this back this way. Something like that. Hey, what's going on, Tipple? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in, everybody. If you guys don't mind liking the live stream, let's get some more people in the room. I'd appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to turn that symmetry off again. And let's go ahead and start getting some form in this. So I'm going to kind of wrap it around this way. This will be like the flow of everything. Kind of this way. kind of crease in here take the drag tool and I'm gonna go ahead and flare out the bottom of the uh, ropes here Now that they're flared, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the trim tool and I'm going to cut off all of the excess that we don't need. So I'll just take trim with a rectangle function and uh, we'll take care of that. Uh, J-Man, what app are you using in 3D? This is called Nomad Sculpt. I really want to learn 3D. It seems hard. I do draw 2D characters, but I want to uh, do them in 3D now. I just have uh, Nomad. Yeah, Nomad's not too, too bad. Compared to Blender, quite honestly, it's way easier. I'll be completely honest with you. Nomad is significantly easier to pick up than Blender. If you ever need help getting started, let me know. I will happily help you. I have a lot of tutorials over on YouTube as well, Topol. But uh, if you have any specific questions, I would love to help you get started in whatever way that I can. All right, so I'm gonna trim the bottom of this. Just kind of clean that up. Welcome in on YouTube, guys. Appreciate you joining. All right, so let's take the drag tool. We're gonna drag this over where the arm is. This will kind of be like our rope here. We're gonna let it stack down this way. Uh, I do need help. Can you message me your link? Look at the link in my bio, Topol. It's all there, billyhooper.com. You are awesome. Can you please tell me how to make and export normal maps and make projections? So I'm not too familiar with projections. Let me show you something though. So if I, if I, I have a couple things here. Um, all right, we'll use this for example. Okay. So this is one of my miniatures right here. And if you look, this has UVs generated on it. So we have our UV maps. And if we go into our materials panel, 
you're gonna see the normals. Now, let me show you how I got these normals penciled. Um, it's not, not too bad. I'm gonna hide this. This is our one with, uh, with the UV maps. So this is strictly everything from Nomad Sculpt. Okay. So I am going, this is my main shape right here. And you can see this has a lot of polygons in total. It has about 1.33 million polygons. So I'm gonna teach you how to get normal maps and get all your textures into a UV map. So what I'm going to do, I am going to select all of my shapes, everything, select it all. I am going to voxel merge everything together. And I'm gonna kind of do that at a high resolution. Oh my God, face cam, this is amazing. Hey Maddie, good to see you. So I'm gonna go ahead and voxel merge this all together. So now I have one shape and it's 500,000 polygons. This is a little too much. Um, so what we need to do, we need to decimate this and get this extremely low in a poly count. So I'm gonna go into my topology menu, which takes care of all of your geometries. I'll go into the miscellaneous menu and here's our decimate function. So I'm going to take this down to like, let's just call it 5%, super low. And before I actually decimate, I forgot to do one thing. Before I actually decimate, let's go into our scene menu. We're going to clone this shape so we have two of them. We want to keep one high quality um, mesh and then we want our decimated mesh. So we're going to click on the one on the top here and we're going to go decimate that. So now decimate and we made it look really bad but no problem. You see our polygon count is now 20,000. Really low, that's good. So what I'm gonna do, now that it's decimated really low, we need to go ahead and get a UV map. So if you go into your miscellaneous menu where you decimated, you can unwrap your UVs. And you'll see here, unwrap. So now we have, it's just gonna take a second and then we'll have our UVs. There we go. So we have our UVs here and there is no textures on it yet. You'll see there's no normals. Hey Franken, how are you? Or I'm sorry, Franken, how are you doing? So now to get our normals and textures and everything, we're going to go back into this miscellaneous menu and all you're gonna do is bake your textures from that high resolution model we got. What's going on, Jason? So we're gonna bake from high res and now what you'll see let me go hide this this looks like a high resolution model but it's still only 21,000 polygons and if you go in your material panel you'll see that I have my normals and I can I can play with that and we also have this everything we can play with so I hope that helped you pencil I'm not doing bad, Finnegan. Good to see you. All right, let's go back into that uh, other one we started here. So we're gonna do this. Let's go ahead and let's clay up around, I'm gonna go in symmetry. Let's clay up around this. We're gonna crease, we wanna crease right in here in that neckline. I'm going to voxel remesh this and smooth it out. Let's voxel remesh again, try to clean up that hole we just made. And now if we take the crease tool, you'll see how there's some sharp edges right here. We wanna try to get that, thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome, Pencil. I really, really hope it helped. Um, if you need better explanation or more explanation, just go ahead and uh, let me know. I'll, I'll try to clarify it a little bit if you need it. All right, so if you crease with the sub button enabled, you're going to actually bring everything to a point. So you can see how it's kind of making sharp edges. That's what we want. So I'm gonna go make those sharp edges now. This is what we're trying to go for. Perfect. 
and then in here I can just kind of crease this the other way. There we go. And we can smooth all this out. Beautiful. Very, very wonderful. Let's clay up. I'm going to look at another reference I have. Specifically, I want to look at this one on the bottom here. I'm gonna, hmm, let's go ahead and change the color of this. Let's make it kind of dark. Maybe something like this. We're also gonna make it very rough. We don't really want it to shine. I'm gonna use the paint tool and I'm gonna find like a very chalky alpha map. I should have one in my speckles alpha. Maybe in patterns? No, we don't want patterns. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna use one of these. These will look very chalky. And we're gonna go to a white. Yeah, this will be good. We're gonna turn that opacity down. And we're just gonna kinda ever so slightly paint on this. That should be good. go back into our other reference. I just want to kind of see. I'm going to bounce between the two. I'm going to be doing a lot of that. Alright, let's make this, uh, let's make this a bone color. I like the idea of that. drag this out a little more. Let's do that not in symmetry. I'm gonna drag this out this way. So it looks like it's kind of moving. I really want it to have a flow to it. Yeah, that definitely helped. I'm gonna crease a little more. That creasing really does a lot of work in here. On top of creasing, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be going in with the inflate tool and going over those creases to kind of bubble everything up. That really, really helps too. That helps a ton. All right, so what else can we do to this? Let's go ahead. I think working on the hands is going to be a little helpful. We could also get uh, we could also get that lantern in there. So first, maybe what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the uh, thinking. We'll get the hands first. So over here. Let's just add a sphere. Oops, turn that wire off. What software is this? Hey, DK, this is called Nomad Sculpt. All right, so for the hands, Let's validate this shape. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this, that bone white color we got. And I'm gonna start shaping that hand. I'm gonna do this very sloppily. 
and quick. I don't want to spend too much time worrying about shapes and forms in the very beginning because we're going to alter it a lot here in the future. I'm just going to flatten out the top and bottom so it's not round. I'm going to smooth everything. Yeah, this app is on... Uh, so right now I'm making this wraith type character. This is going to be used in a board game that somebody's making. I got commissioned for this piece. Um, I do a lot of pieces for, I recently made a board game, so I made it using these little characters and some hexagon pieces, like I made a lot of these types of things. I do a lot of 3D printing. On my last stream, I made this as a can holder, this cup, it's like a mimic monster can holder, and uh, it just fits like a standard soda can. But yeah, right now I'm doing a uh, commissioned piece for a board game. I'm going to take the crease tool, probably. We want to make sure that this gives the effect of bony. We want to make sure we're kind of getting that kind of a vibe. Kind of pull that down a little bit. Welcome in, everyone. All right, so I'm gonna crease. Use this crease tool, try to develop a little bit of this bony structure. Super basic for the beginning. And then we're gonna get the tube tool in here and we're going to get the fingers. This will be wrapped around a handle. So this one's gonna be wrapped around a handle. So we're gonna to wanna to drop this tube tool, path option, and we're just going to start putting those fingers in. So for that, with the tube tool, I can change the radius. If I click radius here at the top until three dots show, it's a little loud. I can turn down the radius at every point, which is super, super useful. All right, so on the right hand, that thumb is going to be on the inside. So we got finger here. Really need to skinny these up. Finger there. is going to be up here. Let's drag this. Or I'm sorry, let's clay this. Get rid of some material. Do you rig your 3D models too? Uh, Jason, I don't rig them. I pretty much do everything for 3D printing. Um, so I, I personally don't rig them up because I don't do any kind of animation. Pretty much everything I do um, is for 3D printing. I do want to get into some types of animation or like, uh, you know, maybe not animation but game development and I would like to learn how to 3D model for that reason. So I'm gonna use the gizmo tool and click clone. We're going to switch this over this way. This is gonna be our thumb. And uh, how should that wrap around? That's gonna wrap around the backside. So for the thumb, it's gonna kinda, yeah, it's gonna kinda do one of these. You make it look so easy, great talent. Thank you, Adriano. Appreciate you, man. I'm learning Unreal Engine 5 right now for game development. It's interesting. That's awesome, Jason. If you ever need help with some uh, 3D models, this this is what I do. I enjoy doing this a lot. Um, just let me know. I like doing chibi type stuff. I don't know if you saw me show off a couple things. I like doing cute little characters. These are some things I 3D modeled and printed. 
I made a physical 3D printable board game out of this. I have about 15 of those style of characters. So like this here, hey Sandy. Yeah, I got like 15 of these style of characters. What, uh, what kind of games are you making, Jason? I would love to know more about that. All right, Gizmo Tool, clone. We're gonna clone this over. Clone again. Clone one more time. We'll make it work. I'm going to skinny up this finger, the pinky. I'm also gonna set it further back on the hand. So we're gonna set this one down just a little and further back, like right there. Um, the rest are pretty aligned. That's, that's probably pretty right. We'll set this a little more forward. This way. Perfect. And I'm just gonna kinda Here. This obviously should get shortened up. We're going to fix positioning on these. So we could skinny up pretty much all of these. I'm gonna take the entire hand, so let's select everything. And I'm going to kind of rotate it this way. Probably like that. Uh, is your screen frozen again? Yes, it is, Sandy. Thank you for that. I don't know why that keeps happening. I'm getting that back up right now. Maybe. why that happens.
Alright, we should be good. Hopefully. Welcome in guys, I'll be right to it. My, uh, my, my screen froze, so I'm trying to fix the video on it. I apologize. Let me try turning my phone off and back on. Because now it's just not showing up as an option. What type of iPad do I use? Um, OG, I use an iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Yeah, sorry, I'm also streaming over on uh, YouTube and Twitch and every other platform, and the phone I'm using to record the screen went blank, so I'm trying to get that back working real quick. All right, we're back on. Device cancel. Properties. Can you use the same software on iPad Air? Yeah, you can. This is uh, on almost all iPads, even like some pretty old ones. I know somebody who uses like an iPad ninth generation. Really sorry guys, here we go. connecting I found it and now we're just getting it to connect there we go sorry about that guys appreciate it Sandy Make sure it's charging so I don't lose my phone halfway through. Alright, everything look good? What's the software called? Is that Blender? No, this software is called Nomad Sculpt. It is on iOS and Android, and it is not Blender. It is just a sculpting software, but for what it is, it is very, very good. It works amazing, honestly. All right, let's get back to the fingers. So for the pinky, we're just gonna kinda make all of these quite a bit smaller. These are a little too bulky, I think. So we're gonna do one of those. Move this in, move this over. All of the fingers. We'll move this way over too. That's a lot nicer. And then the pinky we can get in here. Still gonna leave it kind of far back though. If we look from this way, I'm gonna leave it like back here. And now for the hand, we can move this around. Obviously this isn't properly positioned, so we're just gonna move this up. We'll drag it over a little bit. Looks good, thank you Sandy. I appreciate the, the help with that. Um, this thumb should be probably a little more like that. We're gonna clay this, move this. Yeah, 
That's looking right. New setup. Hey, Maddie. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. I have it over on um, YouTube as well and Twitch and Facebook. Since TikTok will soon probably be banned, maybe, possibly, from what I hear. So, Madeline, right now I am making a sculpt for a buddy of mine who's making a board game. And uh, he's already got it. He's going to be running a Kickstarter for it. He's got most of it already uh, produced but he wanted a new character for his game, so that's what this is. It's like a Wraith type character, more or less gonna be something similar to this, but I'm gonna put my own artistic spin on it. All right, let's make um, a makeshift. Uh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to select all of this, minus the arm. And I am going to clone this over here and I will flip it in the future. I'm not going to flip it right now unless they fix it and I can flip it without joining it all. Nope, I still can't. So I'll just leave it there in the wrong direction for now. Welcome in everybody. So what I'm going to do now um, I'm gonna go ahead and start making some kind of lantern. Let me see if I have a different reference point for a lantern. I don't want that style. Or that, there's nothing in there. So we'll just go for something simple like this, I think. I'm gonna start with a tube tool with the path option. And we're just gonna lay out a handle. So we'll have it flat right here. Actually, let's do it rounded. Yeah, let's do it a little bit rounded. So let's just do that. We're gonna B spline this. Probably turn the size down. Run this back into the hand. Probably try to rotate it this way a little have you made any more characters for your game i have not madeline i'm still sitting uh the last one i did was finn and uh, i haven't even like put him in the game yet but that was the last one that i did i'm gonna take a little bit of a break from that and create some stuff that people will want to 3d print to sell so that i can try to build my patreon um, but the first thing i made if you can kind of see it i made this can holder. It's kind of like a mimic can holder and it just fits a standard can. It's a glorified coaster basically. <laughs> mm. Alright, so Let's thicken this up just a tad. Probably there. I'm gonna add a couple points here to kind of make it loop in on itself. That'll be good. And I am going to Deciding how I want to get this uh, top here. So I'm just going to get a cube. Let's get a box. We're going to bring that box over here. Scale it way down, obviously. We are going to validate this shape. And in my symmetry panel, I'm going to 
also turn on the Z. I think that's right. That way, whatever I do on one side, it'll happen on the other. Let's see if that's right. Ah, we don't have symmetry on. Let's also switch this to Boolean. Um, do you like to read? Yes, I do a lot. Mostly I read nonfiction. Um, I read a lot of nonfiction. I listen to, uh, I listen at work, so I'm usually going through a book a day um, or the equivalent in podcasts. If so, have you read the, uh, no, I have not. I don't even know how to say that. Is that, what is it? I like a lot of sci-fi and fantasy too. I don't listen to a lot of it lately, but I do really enjoy sci-fi and fantasy. Alright, so I'm going to trim, and I am going to um, lasso this. Oops, that's not what I want. I don't want to flip it. There we go. And then we're going to do the same on this side. Beautiful. We're going to run with that. What do you do for work? Uh, Julia, right now I am a welder. Um, Carmilla, thank you so much for the Hartman gift. I appreciate you. I didn't see that. I apologize. Yeah, I'm a welder. I make uh, rocket ship parts. I do parts that go in rocket engines for Blue Origin right now. Have you made a 3D sur uh, if you made a 3D surreal and you use the right tags, <laughs> the bug dog curlies would swarm. I, I will check that out. I really want to do some surreal stuff. If that's what you meant. Appreciate you, Oscar. What's going on, Doodle? Man, welcome in, everybody. Good to see you guys. Alright, so I will... Oh, watch this. This will be cool. Um, man, I wish I had another one before I destroyed that. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and bring another box. So here's a little trick I'm going to do. Sur okay, not surreal art. <laughs> surreal is a character from the series. You definitely need to read them. Okay, I will absolutely do that. Is it, um, what, ki what type of book is it? I'll check it out for sure. I see you are progressing fast with your art. Good luck and good night. Thank you so much, James. Appreciate you. It's very kind. Fantasy, it's a five series book. Um, send me a link on Facebook, Madison, because I don't want to forget. I genuinely want to check that out. So here's what I'm going to do. This is the cool trick I wanted to show you guys. So I am going to validate this shape. I'm going to voxel remesh it just to get a little bit of geometry into it. And I'm going to use the mask tool, specifically the select mask tool with the rectangle function. And we are going to make some windows. Let's go ahead and symmetry this local, turn on Z, and I think we can do this easy. In fact, I think we had better get that closer.
This is gonna take me a few tries, <laughs> apparently. Someone's blowing up Discord. Make a bigger one and then just unmask the frame of the window. Yeah, what I'm gonna do, oh, true. That's true, but that's okay. I think I might've just got it. That's close enough, honestly. And then I'm gonna invert the mask. Uh, thank you for following, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I don't know how to say your name, so I'm not even gonna try. And now I need to unmask this because I somehow masked it. Yeah, I'm just going to follow through with this Oscar because I already started and uh, we'll get it. It won't be too difficult. Uh. What you said though was way smarter, not even gonna lie. That was the proper way to do it. <laughs> What's going on, Marty? About to give up and do what Oscar suggested. That'll be more symmetrical. All right, so just make a big one, then unmask the frame of the window. Yeah, this is no mad sculpt. No worries, Carmilla. No problem at all. Um, all right, let's do it that way. So what I will do, let's just undo this, let's mask the entire thing, and let's unmask, like you said, the window. We can probably go right in the center, or the frame I mean, but we're not unmasking. We'll go about that thick. And then we wanna get right here, I think. In fact, let's go a little more center. Maybe right there. That'll be good. Perfect. Uh, Any, how are you? Hello. Also, you can activate the symmetry lines so it's dead center. Yeah, I have the symmetry turned on. I'm gonna make this line just ever so slightly bigger. Oops. Oh, you meant like show line? I'm kind of seeing the show line because I have that little dot on my cursor. So I kind of see where the middle symmetry line is. Um, Rumpelstiltskin, thank you so much for sharing the live stream. I appreciate you. That's super kind. Thank you. Um, evening. Good evening. As noted, you are awesome. Thank you so much, Walking Robin. I appreciate you. That's super, super kind. All right. So as for the frame, uh, maybe we're just gonna leave no we're, we're gonna do the bottom here so let's go ahead and unframe that or I guess frame that and frame that beautiful what I'll do is I'm going to invert the mask so now only my frame is selected I'm going to go into my mask settings and I'm going to set a shell thickness of about point, let's try 0.15 and we're going to extract a shell. And I think 0.15 was wonderful. 
Yeah, I think that was very nice. I'm happy with it nonetheless. And uh, yeah, I think that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this. And I feel like I wanna inflate it a little bit. So at just a super low percentage, I'm just gonna inflate it. Hey alien, how are you doing? Very good to see you, man. Good night, Oscar. Thank you for hanging out, man. I appreciate you being here, as always. And I'm gonna take my mask tool, my select mask. And we're going to mask off the rest of this frame, except for the very bottom. Whoops, that's unmask. Except for the very bottom. In fact, we'll go a little more. And I'm going to scale that up. Perfect. Maybe even thicken it out this way. I like that. I can hit that drag tool and Maybe the flatten tool, not the not the drag tool. Maybe the flatten tool. I, not too much, Alien. I've been working a lot. Right now I'm doing a commission for somebody who is making a board game. Um, as somebody I've worked with for a while, he wanted another commission piece. So that's what we're doing. And uh, I've been okay. I'm going to voxel remesh this. Flatten this out here. Flatten this out here. Just to kind of, I don't know, give it some kind of something. We're going to run with this. I think this is good. Okay. I would like to... I would like to add a box on this, but I don't know if I can do that. So what if I just inflate the edge on this? Can I do that without ruining it? We will see. Start in the middle and run, whoops, start in the middle and run this way. I like that. I'm fine with it. Alright, so I'm gonna clear the mask. And I'm gonna kinda make this a little wavy the frame get scaled down for sure we're gonna scale this a bit we're gonna take all of our newly made lantern and we're gonna scale that down that looks a little better
In fact, because of 3D printing, we might get this up into the fingers just to make 3D printing a bit easier. And we're gonna get this here. Uh, the name of the software is called Nomad Sculpt, DK Streaming. I appreciate you still being here. I didn't realize you were still in the room. Hope you are enjoying the live stream. I don't know how to get noticed on Kick, but <laughs> any advice, I would love it from you, DK. You are basically my first viewer I have ever had here on Kick. At least first talking viewer. I usually stream on TikTok, uh, and I do okay there. I do very well, but now I'm trying to branch out to all the other software. I just set up multi-streaming, so I'm on all platforms. work on this sleeve here. A it starts with one. I literally just made this account though. No worries. DK streaming. Do you, uh, given the name, I would assume you stream to other places. What do you stream? working on D and D models. No, I have an alien. What have you been making? I want to check that out. Is it for a specific D and D game for you or somebody or what you've been doing? Oh my gosh. I missed so many gifts. Um, James, thank you for the rose. Carmilla, thank you so much for the five team bracelets. I appreciate that. I'm so sorry. I hope you guys are still here. Are you playing in a game, uh, Alien? Or is it just uh, for enjoyment? Or do you plan on playing a game soon? What's that all about? <sighs> playing on a game. That's awesome, man. Really cool. Are you gonna DM or how's that gonna work? Hmm. Let me see something. Let's see the dress on this. Okay. So I might just make it a standard sleeve. Yeah. All right, let's drag this shoulder down so it looks a little more proper. Let's crease straight in here. Let's drag this over. Let's 
crease in here. Step in a little bit. We don't need all that. Um, idea is RPG chess board D and D style. That's cool. Nice man. Real cool. I don't know if you saw what I made, Alien, but I made this uh, cup. Try to get it in the light. So this is a can holder, like this basically a glorified coaster. Extend out. Oh wait, we need to we need to reverse this. So I need to join all these together. Yeah, that does sound cool. N8. We're gonna select these. We are going to join them together, and we are going to flip the object. Go ahead and select that. Get that moved back over here. Uh, pivot. Center pivot. Align. Yeah, let's get that back over here. Now we're good. So, oh uh, wait, by doing that. Alright, we can't do that yet. Because that would mean that we... Man, that's unfortunate. Alright, well let's just do it backwards for a second then. Basically what's going to happen is all of our fingers are <laughs> opposite what they're supposed to be. But that's okay. We're just going to extend this out. so weird because it's all backwards fingers way too long that's better We're just gonna run with it, I think. All right, no problem, N8, no problem at all. Take your time. What time we got? 
Not too bad. Alright, so I'm gonna select all of these. I hate that I have to do this, but that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going to flip it, and now we will move it. And we can unjoin, separate. Actually, maybe we just voxel merge them together because they're pretty good. So let's voxel merge this and we can start adding some detail. Let me see if I can get uh, somebody in here real quick. Love your work, sir. I've learned a lot from you. Awesome, man. Well, I'm super happy to hear that. I really am. make this sleeve come out so obviously we need to drop this we need to make the sleeve come out over this way I'm gonna smooth this Use the crease tool. Drag. Get this over here. We're gonna drag this down. Try to maybe round it out a little bit so it becomes an actual sleeve. remesh this. Let's go ahead and clay up around here so we can actually start to create a sleeve. Because right now I'm a little like disoriented as to where the sleeve is, like all the edges and everything, so we need to figure that out. And we will do that by taking away all this material inside with the clay tool. You're doing pretty good, I would have given up. No way. No way. It's all a patience game. Never give up. Sometimes I get bored and just move on to a new project though. But I'm not bored with this one. This one's enjoyable. And it's a commission, so I kinda can't give up on it. <laughs> but I wouldn't want to anyway. All right, let's get um, more music in here. Hopefully you guys can hear the music over on TikTok.
let's inflate. Facebook, Kick, and Twitch. You can find links in my bio. Uh, actually, I don't have links to my Twitch or my Kick, but uh, YouTube and Facebook is up there. I'll have to link those. So I didn't even think about that. <sighs> Getting a little sleepy. Let's crease this. Yeah, definitely follow me somewhere in it because I don't know how long uh, I don't know how long TikTok is gonna be around, at least for me in the U.S. I wonder if we can skinny this up in the center, how that would look. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna be pretty active over on YouTube probably and eight. But I post everything just about everywhere. I'm gonna start adhering to a really strict schedule. I'm gonna change up the type of content I do a little bit. It's all gonna be 3D modeling. But I'm gonna be doing more, uh, here we go. I'm gonna be doing more stuff. It's gonna be fantasy based like this, what I've already been doing. Um, and useful and practical. So like this is a can holder. So I'm gonna do stuff like that. On my list is like dice boxes, dice towers, decorative boxes, um, masks, cosplay stuff. Um, and everything that I do is going to be in the fantasy genre. So, you know, angels, dragons, demons, uh, celestial things, stuff like that. All fantasy stuff. Mythical beasts, griffins, etc. Symbolic stuff, meaningful things, that's, that's really what I want to do. Yeah, this is awesome, man. Just a little thinner around the waist uh, and a tad bit scarier. Okay, so a little skinnier around the waist. Are you sure you want it skinnier than that around the waist? Maybe you were looking at the backside. Also, from now on, um, Brian, I'm going to be on Facebook as well. If that's easier for you, I don't know. I'm live on Facebook right now, so I just thought I'd mention that. Since I've already got you over there. How's that? Yeah, no worries, man. And then tad bit scary. I can definitely make it more scary. I think broader shoulders will make it more scary. Um, if I kind of bring this hood down, that will make it a little more menacing. but I don't want to close it like that. I also need to get rid of, I need to make this thinner. Uh, do you want this to be pretty printable, Brian? Because if you want this to be pretty printable, the only hard part is going to be the hand. And uh, you'll have to support the lantern, but it should be okay. The hand is gonna be a little difficult. I don't know what you wanna do about that. For starters, I could close this up. Oof, I already, damn it. I've already, uh, yeah, I already validated that. All right, if it's gonna be printable, um, 
then I might do something to those hands to close it up a bit. And I wasn't done with the hands either. I need to clean them up big time. Assume that I would want a resin printer to print it. Yeah, if you want, if you get a resin printer, any of the miniatures that you have from me will print great on a resin printer. This one would definitely be better on a resin printer. for sure yeah I absolutely do I will talk to you later Brian I'm going to inflate some of this inside we don't need we don't need that to go that far back. So I'm going to do front facing vertex only and we are going to fill some of this in. Let's voxel remesh. Smooth it out. I'm glad I caught you streaming today because I'm quite bored. Well, awesome, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I caught you in here too. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm gonna make a consistent schedule of streaming. I really need to get my habits and practices in place. So I'm gonna make this a very consistent habit streaming because when I whenever I sculpt it's when I'm streaming and I want to make sculpting a consistent habit. with the drag tool. That'll be good. Adam, thank you so much for sharing the live stream. I appreciate you. It's very kind of you. Thank you so much. shoulders
dropping some vibes, my boy. What's going on, DBR? Appreciate you, Roy. Alright, we're gonna push this sleeve up a little bit. I think I dragged it way out more than I wanted. Like a cute little reaper with a cartoony eyes. Yeah, we got this going on. I wonder... The guy commissioning this said he wants it a little scarier. I wonder if we puff the chest out a little bit. I think that might also help. Broad shoulders, broad chest. What's going on? How you doing, Roger? Man, everybody's showing up today. All right, that's good. Let's uh, let's clean up this hand a bit. Let's go ahead and make this something worth remarking about. Because right now, it is not. I'm extravagant just living the life, bro. That's awesome, man. Good to hear that. That's good. Same here. I am enjoying it. How are you planning to do the weird shoulders? So I'm not trying to copy this completely. And it... Um, this is somebody else's file, so I'm just using this as reference. I don't want to straight up steal it. He gave me three... The guy commissioning this gave me three references to work off of. This one here. Um, and... This is his actual card for the game. So now that I'm actually seeing the actual card, it makes me want to redo this a little bit make that a little wider right there maybe bring this down um but however and it, if i was trying to do that i'll show you what i would do so it actually wouldn't be too difficult with this hood. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Alright, so what I would do if I was trying to do the uh, shoulders like that, it's really this one I would be focusing on. Something like this. <laughs> we got a link up in barbecue. Yeah, man. That sounds good. Are you nearby? Or are you in a different part of where we are? I don't want to dox you. Oh wow, okay. Yeah man, that sounds good. Got a grill in the backyard. We'll set something up soon. Real, real soon. I'll, uh, I'll reach out to you here after the stream. And uh, we can set something up for a week or two from now. Probably sometime after Easter would be my guess. Because I'm busy next weekend, then I'm busy Easter weekend. Yeah, I would pretty much just drag it out like this and eat if I was doing it like that. And then I would do some creasing to kind of get like some of this going. And I would crease in the opposite direction to kind of bring it to a point. Man, my wife is dying in the other room. I'm sure you guys hear her coughing. <laughs> She's been sick. She uh, She's having some kind of pollen reaction. Not actually sick, she just can't stop coughing. But that's what I would do. I would just creasing and dragging pretty much.
<laughs> you can't hear her. I'm a little shocked, actually. That's all I can focus on. Roger, are you here with uh, your kids and wife, or just you here? What's going on? Let's crease down here, maybe. Yeah, whole family, awesome, man. That's cool. Good stuff. Are they enjoying Florida? Happy, did they ever leave? Cause I know you went by yourself, but then uh, I don't know if they ever went with you after that. I would assume they went with you after that. When you were gone. I'm gonna inflate back here a little bit. I think making it a little more pointing will also help. So if I just take this hand, if I kind of extend this out this way, I think if we kind of bring it out here, I think this is going to help. Makes it a little more menacing. I was here by myself for three months, then got the rest of it. Okay. Yeah, man, good. Alright, so we're going to move this over. In fact, I wonder if I can just stamp, not stamp, I'm sorry, select mask, and I'm going to mask off all of this. Oops. Let's try on there. Are we uh are we still live? Gave me a weird uh thing on here. Are we good on TikTok? So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna mask, we're gonna clear this mask, right? And I am going to smooth all of this out the best I can. Really wasn't too bad. It was better than I thought it was. We're gonna give this a quick voxel remesh. Is this full time for you yet? I might be late on the info. No, it's not. I would love for it to be, but it's not yet, uh, Roger. So I have a consistent schedule I'm going to start sticking to, and the idea is to make, uh, what I'm really trying to do is build my Patreon and get subscribers over on Patreon. 
and I give STL files away there. And the idea is I'm making things that people on Patreon can 3D print and sell. So like this cup I made, um, people at the $10 tier could like get this STL file to 3D print it and then just sell this file. So I want to go the Patreon route. So I'm just going to get consistent, make a lot of STL files people want, and we'll see how it goes. Consistency will be key. I'm going to have a set schedule of uh, Monday through Thursday, and then more days if I'm feeling it. But absolutely Monday through Thursday. If we move this shoulder forward, that's definitely going to help this vibe we're going for. Alright, no worries any I will see you later. Yeah, definitely got a roadmap. I uh, tried to sit down and really figure out what I'm trying to do and how I want to approach it so I know like, you know, clarity. Clarity is very good to understand where you're going and what you want to do and uh, how to get there. That way I know how to spend my time, where to spend it. It's not a question anymore. I just know what I got to do and it's just a matter of doing. Alright, I'll see you later. back here just a little yeah that looks way better in terms of uh, like threatening this looks a lot better better if you know where you want to go instead of doing a bunch of random stuff and that's basically what I was doing just a bunch of random stuff I switch a lot too like I switch tasks a lot once I start stuff and uh, I don't see it through so I really tried to design what I wanted to do with that in mind so that what I'm doing offers like when I get bored or when I do a lot of it I tend to switch so what I'm doing um, it kind of has built into it the ability to switch but still be in the same realm of everything I'm doing I don't know if that makes sense so like I can switch up specific things and change genre for a little bit but it's still gonna be appealing to the exact same target audience so I never actually actually like stop doing what's expected of me like what I'm building an audience around because I, uh, <laughs> I reliably am unreliable. So if I build that into it, then I'm just reliable. on this hand a little bit.
Let's make this side of the hand bony as well. So we're gonna clay, or I'm sorry, crease right in here. This won't even be seen, but it'll give me peace of mind knowing it's done right. I appreciate it, man. I uh I got a good feeling about it. I think it'll uh I think it'll work out very well. Alright, let's clay up let's clay up right around here. We're gonna have to inflate in here. It looks like we lost this pretty bad. We did something to destroy that. Probably the creasing. I'm gonna voxel remesh to clean my geometry. Smooth this out a little bit. Let's recrease. And I'm gonna clay on the knuckles. Make these bony. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, Roger. I enjoy doing it a lot, honestly. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna crease right here on the bottom side of the hand. in here because now this is destroyed and inflate here <laughs> your attention to detail is phenomenal thank you man I have a lot more I want to do. I want to get back into more detailed models. So when I was making my game, I did a lot of models like this, just cute little chibi stuff. Um, but before that, I never finished this, but here's something that was super detailed. And I want to get into more stuff like this. Like here's a triceratops dragon I was making. Kind of, you can tell it's pretty detailed in the face. I needed to work on the, uh, the rest of it a bit, but I like this one a lot. Got a lot of sculpts. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen, let me see if I can find it. So I also enjoyed this, I think it's this one, uh, no this is not it, I never finished this. So 
this is one. Yeah, this is it. Uh, you still do? Yeah. So, I don't. Um, this was going to be a diorama. I was going to print this and turn it into a diorama. My wife still does a lot of it. I pretty much just 3D model now. And like I said, how I'm building my Patreon, I'm pretty much just focused on 3D modeling exclusively. When, uh, when I just want to chill out, like it's a fun... It's like a fun, peaceful practice. So like if I'm not trying to do anything, I'll just like sit back and just start making something. It's kind of like something fun to do. I think that hand is pretty okay, honestly. This one's gonna be pretty easy to do over here. I'm gonna run this end to the hand. We'll get that right there. Before we voxel merge all this together, I am going to inflate. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Got a lot of stuff on here. Let's inflate over here. Let's drag this down. We want to get it a little bit closer to the knuckles. That's pretty good, actually. We'll bring this up a bit. So let's go ahead and select all of the fingers. And I am going to voxel merge them all together. We'll do that at, we'll just call it 184. This is beyond my capacity. Uh, I can't see the details in my mind to do that. I can design t-shirts and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Sometimes I'll see like full images in my head and just have like a uh, whole concepts kind of present themselves. I don't know. I can also kind of like, it's not even that I can kind of spin it, like, see it in my head, but, like, I can make a visual model of this, like, in my head and kind of spin it around and see what it looks like at all angles. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. It just makes sense. happy that I found this app because uh, like without this just how accessible it was I don't know if I would have really gotten into 3d and I genuinely enjoy it it's very 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 enjoyable it's very like meditative and contemplative for me honestly it lets me just relax and get my mind off everything mind-blowing to me I'll show you a couple other things. Let's see what else I've got that's worth showing off. Been a long time since I've gone through some of these. I'll ignore all these chibi models. Um, this guy was kind of cool. Cute little mushroom warrior. Um, <laughs> I got good at making cutters on this program. Hey, Sugi, good to see you. Long time no see. 
Oh, not you, Siri. Stop. Please don't make a loud noise. On it. Oh, uh, my Working on that. exposure Here's some information. Crazy. Been on break from TikTok, though. No worries. Yeah, this is an old one. Um, I like this guy a lot, too. This guy was pretty cool. Here's like a little demon-like statue. I called this guy the questionnaire. Uh, can these uh, files and SVG files or PNG? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I can set up my whole scene. In fact, let me show you one that I have set up very nicely. So I set this up to get a picture of this cup I made, like this right here. I set up the scene for this cup, and then I can go into my files, and I can export this as a uh, PNG file. So I can render it as a PNG, and then I can just get the image. And if you want just this, so like if you wanted it like an SVG, because I think you're saying that maybe for shirts or something, um, I could go in and uh, make a transparent background and then export the PNG. And then I have just that. And there's no background there. <laughs> yeah, so like, if I wanted, uh, let's say I really liked my guy right here. Um, let's say I really liked this one. I could just get a PNG of this. In fact, we could, uh, well, I could make the base go away, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then I could do just this. And then we could put that on a shirt. And I've got that guy right here. This was for my game. Here we go. So it's hard to see. I don't have the light on me. Yeah, it's gonna be too hard to see. I don't have a good light source. Oh, blinding. I give up. Yep, I give up. <laughs> I tried. All right. Um, let's finish up this hand. We're pretty much done here. So we need knuckles. Let's smooth some of this out. And uh, I'm gonna clay up right on those knuckles. And then I think we'll be done. We'll see if there's anything else I should do to it. The guy commissioning this seemed pretty happy with the state of it. So I don't know if it's worth doing anything else. Unless it just stands out as needing to be done.
I guess we gotta run the, uh, I didn't think about this. We have to run the arms into this and we need to merge these together. Let's do that at a slightly higher resolution. to see where bones are in my wrist. <laughs> Sunday, I gotta go prepare, I gotta go, no worries, yeah man, we'll keep in touch, I'll, uh, I'll message you. Alright everybody, I think I am going to finish up here, so I will probably go ahead and call this one, but I appreciate you all watching, I will see you all later.